Hey there, Ramble Force. Chris Gamble here from the Digital Ramble again with episode 17. I'm joined as always in Houston, Texas by JJ Cannon. Hey, JJ. What's up, my man? How you doing? I'm very, very good, mate. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite. Let's see. I think I, if I want to quote myself, it was like, love, 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 Sonos. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> X, 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 X. Yeah. Uh, Sonos is, for me, out of all the Nulls products, it's the superstar. It's the, it's the biggest, the one that makes the biggest impact because it makes the most noise. It does, you know, and it really brings everything that we've been talking about Nulls together, you know. And so I think, you know, this is our last series of our Knoll. So, you know, I really greatly appreciate, you know, our audience tuning in and goodness gracious, has it been an audience gamble? I mean, people are really absorbing, you know, what we've been talking about Knolls and looking at technology and deployment in a different way and finding manufacturers that really work, you know, for their needs. It's been fun. Yeah. Big, big, big thank you to everyone who's, who's joined in so far in the series, Sonos being the last product. Big shout out to all the Facebook viewers, um, but we'd love it if you could show a little bit of love to our YouTube channel. So go and search for that, the Digital Ramble on YouTube. Yeah, definitely, audience. Thank you for your support. Like, share, follow, you know, and create help. Thank you for creating an awareness for us. And a special note to our Patreons that are out there supporting us. And if you want to be a Patreon supporter that allows Gamble and I to do this on a weekly basis, I encourage y'all to go over to our patreon.com forward slash the digital ramble page and, and sign up. We greatly appreciate that. So Gamble, uh, what you been up to this week, man? Been preparing for the, uh, an event we're doing this weekend. We've got the Cambridge Home and Garden Show. It's a two-day event this weekend where we're going to be taking our new, improved, refreshed tech wall, which has had a Nulls makeover or Nulls takeover. And uh, that's a Saturday and Sunday event. We're really excited we're going to dine there. It's, I've just heard that it's a sellout event, so there's going to be thousands of people there uh, learning about their what they can do with their home and, and their garden with interior designers, architects, technology professionals, other tradespeople. So a really fun weekend ahead. Yeah, you know, and that tech wall, you've been shooting some pictures over to me, and you're going to be posting some of those up on the Digital Ramble Instagram page and possibly also our Facebook page and letting some of uh, the people in our industry as well as our, our uh, consuming audience see what Customize has to, to offer as well as Digital Delight. We don't necessarily have a tech wall. I'm a little jealous that I don't have one because yours is just fire brother it is so awesome i love seeing that thing so definitely be taking a look at our social media pages gamble's going to be posting that up through the week and you know we have my team has been out in the field uh we have a really large project that we've been working on with the client for the past year in different segments of you know the project and this week last week and the start of this week is the final touches you know, we're actually all of the Knowles products are coming in house. Uh, they're being deployed. We're using a variety of different types of solutions, and we're posting that on our socials as well. And uh, the client, we opened up the Sonos app for for the misses, and she has Apple Music, big Apple Music fan. She also loved the idea of tune in radio you know one of the apps that is on uh, sonos uh and she could dial in any radio station you know in in the world and she's like honey now you can listen to any sports channel you want you know and so <laughs> it's exciting to to put that kind of tech as well as access to content into somebody's hands that they can pick up and use real easily so that's what we've been having going on last week as well as what we got uh, going on the beginning of this week so yeah super excited to get into to sonos today and you ready to get into it let's go jj let's go mike drop it so you, you described there uh, a scenario where you loaded the sonos app onto a customer's phone and you linked up their music service and a radio service 
for them to play that in, a, in any room that they've got Sonos installed, any speaker or amplifier. And I, I want to start on how, what the experience is like with Sonos. The app is, the app is such, a, such a masterpiece of software. The user experience that's created from that app, that is what you use every day. You can have speakers cut in the ceiling, amplifiers hidden from view in a closet. You can have room speakers, you know, on the counter, whatever. But it's the app that you use every day, multiple times per day. And that consistent experience you get accessing your music, delivering it in the room or on the speakers that you wish, that has been what has kept Sonos for me at the very top of the multi-room music game. You know, Gamble, both of us being professional installers and delivering tech to homeowners for, for many years, uh, we've, and, and it's about the experience, you know, and that's what Knowles as a whole is about, is that experience that once we leave the house, can a client use it? Do they feel like that investment was worth it? Are they getting that return? And Sonos is absolutely one of those products that delivers on that return. Uh, it's low profile. That app, like you're talking about, is easy to use. You have access to a variety of different streaming services uh, to, to stream music. And that's how that, that the Sonos platform started out was making it easy and streaming content. Um, there's a lot of different uh, products out there that offer those types of solutions, but it's the end user experience uh, that, that's really what kind of has percolated it to the top of our go-to list when it comes for uh, improving the sound of whatever you're watching, as well as accessing content and then distributing it throughout your home. Yeah, I really want to also touch upon the fact that so your Sonos uh, wireless music system is a fantastic aggregator of all the streaming services, the, the ones that you pay for, like Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, and, and even a lot of the free ones, you know, like uh, SoundCloud and Pocket Casts and all these different, even audio books and um, radio apps. I want to say at last count I heard, and I think it was, I picked this up when I was at the CDA Expo with you last year, that there's over 80 services available for you to associate with your Sonos system. Once you've got it on, on your Sonos system, you can access those services in any room um, and, and, and in a lot of cases summon that content via the app or via a voice command. Yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm looking up and trying to see if I can quickly identify how many apps. But yeah, Gamble, you're right. I mean, it's it's more content that you could ever possibly consider listening to, you know, in in your in your home. Now, Sonos they have a variety of different styles of of speaker wireless speaker solutions that you can apply in a variety of different ways. One of the newest products out right now that's just absolutely fire, like we can't keep them in stock. People are wanting them all the time, and it's the new Sonos Amp. And the Sonos Amp is is a small powerhouse of uh, audio, whole house audio distribution, as well as now you can implement it in your main listening areas. Yeah, so Sonos have always had an amplifier in their their locker they've always had an amp that you could connect to your your speakers it could be that you've got speakers in the ceiling it could be that you've got speakers uh, like we've got here uh, like floor standing speakers it could be bookshelf it could be outdoor speakers so the sonos amplifier whatever guys it's had a refresh there's a new sonos amp out there but it's still unleashing all your music through maybe some stylish speakers or maybe some discreet hidden speakers in the, in the ceiling or in the walls. Right, absolutely. And this amp, it's really powerful. It has 125 watts per channel, and they are it's designed for connecting a pair of speakers, tower speakers, like what you have. And every piece is, is designed in-house by Sonos 
to to work for this uh, for this Sonos amp. And so the the quality of performance is is top of mind with uh, with Sonos and all their products that that they release to the public. I mean, I you you look through and it once you become you know kind of like a Sonos uh, I call a speaker freak, you know, uh, for for Sonos you start really understanding and learning the brand, and it's more than just you know. A, a box and and streaming content it's it's a culture that that sonos is is developing as a whole as as a brand and it's important to them that their product stands the test of time because they're not releasing a brand new product once a year to replace the previous year's release these are long-term uh, uh, products that that stay on the the that you use in your home for years. Usually, they have like an eight year shelf life, and the way that they're upgrading is through firmware and through software uh, upgrades uh, automatically. So your value is always improving over time. But the culture that they have in in art and in uh, music and embracing. Uh, other avenues of of molding who Sonos is, you know, it has is also a big factor about their their products and products launch as well as in their design. Yeah, de- definitely. If you're an avid social media user, follow Sonos on all the platforms. They're typically at Sonos, and you'll see the things they get up to, not just in music and entertainment, but also big supporter of net neutrality. And also in a lot of, um, you know, promotion of, of women playing a, a prominent part in the arts and music industries and, and in business as well. You know, they've got some amazing staff on the Sonos, um, in the Sonos company there that are inspiring people to, to follow. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and so their latest product is that Sonos amp, but they have also teamed up with Sonance. And Sonance is is the originator of the architectural speaker. And when we say the word architectural, what we mean is uh, in ceiling uh, speaker that you cut a hole and you put a speaker in the ceiling. They also have an architectural in wall. So like your television there behind you, you would cut a hole to the left and right of that television and recess those speakers into the wall. And then they also have an outdoor speaker that that is made to uh, work in conjunction with this Sonos amp. And it has some really cool features about implementing those products uh, from Sonance in with the Sonance amp or Sonos amp. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they've, they've linked up there with a with a company with fantastic heritage in speakers. Sonance are, are known for their for their quality of, of what they produce and They've gone a step further with this relationship in that if you've got that speaker set up, the, the amplifier recognizes these speakers and you're able then to tune the audio to an even better level using the true play function that, that Sonos have, um, have had, always had in their room speakers. Now they're able to, to implement it in their room amplifiers. Yeah, and that True Play, you can have True Play in a variety of their different products, and we're getting ready to get into a couple of more of them. But the the True Play allows you, like you were saying, to calibrate for that room size, for the ambience of and tonality of that room, to really give you the peak performance in that area, like a dining room or like your master bathroom and to where you can truly improve and enhance the the quality of the product that you've invested in yeah so the amp is new the speakers are new and another product that's caught the headlines two two products and i'm going to talk about both of them together because they share a unique feature the sonos beam and the sonos one are two of the newest speakers in the in the in the wireless music system from Sonos, and they both have embedded into them a voice assistant. 
to have the Amazon voice assistant. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So we had the Amazon voice assistant that, as well as the Google assistant, is uh, projected for release later on this year. But what it will allow you to do is give a voice command and direct dial to any content that you want to listen to. And uh, and so music is is a great thing that you can voice direct dial through voice as well as uh, podcast uh, you can direct dial to through voice. But also with the Sonos Beam and through its uh, Arc technology through HDMI, you can start automating your television to start turning on uh, through voice command. Yeah, but even cooler, JJ. The fact you've now got your voice assistant built into your, your favorite music system is you don't have to have that extra echo device on the kitchen counter or another echo speaker in the lounge or the bedroom. You can issue all your commands for weather, news, sport, control your lights, heating, automate your home. That for me has been fantastic for customers to, to be able to fit their voice assistant and their favorite speaker into their room in one form factor. Well, hold on, hold on, Gamble, hold on, Gamble. A lot of people are familiar with, let's say, an easy system setup, and and Sonos has taken an entire cabinet full of gear and has compacted it into a very nice, less is more guaranteed to work pretty stinking reliably as long as your network's set up correctly form factor it literally people it's taken gobs of gear and wire and has consolidated it into a small form factor less is more less wires less boxes more reliability and so yeah you're getting rid of that maybe that uh that alexa echo device or maybe um, definitely all the wires that used to plug into a so traditional AVR surround sound receiver uh, that you needed to use in the past. All that stuff is alleviated, making a very small footprint. And that, that's always been a huge advantage of, of using Sonos as, a, as an installer and, and providing it for our customers is we, we were providing them with more features but less wires, less boxes, less points of failure. We were giving them some of the best user experience they've had with technology and also unleashing all the music on earth into any room that they want. And so, yeah, the beam, the, when you think about the beam, everything that that's compacted into one form factor makes it you know, one of the, the probably the hottest product of, of 2018 for me that's gone off beam. And the, the beam is, is similar to the play bar. Uh, the play bar does not have uh, voice control built into it, but it's the sim same idea as the beam. And, and something that we really want to touch on is that with the, the beam as well as the play bar, not only do they stream music, unlimited amount of uh, music, but it improves the quality of your television of whatever you're watching. And so instead of just using the little speakers that are built into your television, it really brings that uh, content of whatever you're watching to life uh, in a very small form factor and easy. And it's quality sound, too. It's uh, I think they use the word hi-fi, you know, in all of their branding. And it's truly high fidelity quality audio. Yeah, the, the, the Sonos products for attaching to your television really do enhance the viewing experience um, and the new products now like the beam having hdmi arc that audio return channel makes it interact with the tv much much better uh, previously they used to use the optical audio connection and it was good but you know you would sometimes get a, a message on your tv saying you know volume is not coming out of the tv blah 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 there would be the there would be a little bit of friction, but using the arc has really made it just a plug and play. The TV detects the speaker and, um, you know, lip, lip syncing and all these things are all forgotten about. And, and messages coming up on the screen are, are a thing of the past with the 
ARC built into their products. Right, and and with both of the Beam as well as the Play Bar, uh, they have True Play built into them, very uh, like the Sonos Amp, and it allows you to calibrate for, for that room and size. Uh, something that you do a lot of gamble is that, uh, and a lot of installers do, is that you can still add a subwoofer as well as rear channels to the the Beam or to the play uh, play bar as well as the play base. Don't let me forget that you have one right over your shoulder right there. Uh, that play base and a little further. There you go, other shoulder. <laughs> that one. This one down here. Sir. Yeah, and uh, and and so the the uh, the uh, the beam, the play bar, the play base, all to improve the sound quality of your television. Uh, they um, can also be paired with surround sounds like a Play One or a Sonos One uh, for your rears, and then the wireless subwoofer huge the, the expandability of this system is, is is scary how quickly it can spread through your home it, it's infectious because because it's delivering this great audio experience in the first or the second room that you've had it you just want to bring it into more rooms and also if you've if you've added a like a sound bar or the play bass and you know you can easily add more bass, rear surround sounds with just that phone call to your, your Sonos professional installer, come and you know, expand my system, we'll put it in the right place, we'll calibrate the setup, we'll, we'll make sure everything's had its update. And you know, there's some great accessories as well. We, we typically have the Sonos rear speakers on some nice speaker stands, gives a nice, um, you know, very, very professional finish at the speakers at the right height at the rear. So you can go from just a front surround sound speaker, add more bass, keep going and add rear surround and, and really have a, a high performance surround sound system for your for any of your rooms with televisions. Right. And so, you know, you're talking about those uh, Sonos ones and the, the play ones and, and those speakers and. You can add them as surround sounds, but you can also take those products as well as like the uh, the Sonos Play 5 and uh, you can use them and distribute them into the rest of your house. And so with the, with the Sonos Amp, uh, you would hardwire speakers to it uh, and it would give you definitely a, a better quality, more uh, all around audio distribution in a room. But if you don't have that, as well as uh, resources, there's a price difference. You know, what, what are you budgeted for? But as well as that, Sonos has the solution to where you can take a Sonos uh, Play 1 or a Sonos 1 or a Sonos uh, Play 5 and place them in each of your rooms uh, that you might need it. You know, I, I got something going on at my house right now. And I got my girls the the Sonos Play One, and it's in their bathroom, and they're always jamming to it and stuff like that. And then I got Hope and I, we got the Sonos One, which has the voice control. I have my my nine year old, no, she's ten now. My ten year old daughter is starting to use my bathroom more now, Gamble, because of voice <laughs> control. Sure. She'd much rather just verbally dial in what she wants to listen to, which is the same stinking song, the Marshmallow Dude. All the time, uh, you know, in our bathroom, and she she puts it on. She starts brushing her teeth, and then it's on to Taylor Swift, and then it's on to somebody else that she's digging on right now. But uh, I, I'm probably gonna have to relocate the Sonos One into her bathroom or get two because she is gravitating more to accessing con content through voice, which could easily be utilized in a dining room. Uh, or into the, like we have the master bathroom or into the kitchen, into a space that might not be wired, might be challenging to run wires, might not necessarily need that type of uh, investment for that room. But Sonos offers these really cool solutions with voice control for easy access that you can put in the rest of the home. So before we go into Canon Fire for another week with, with some nuggets of, of wisdom from JJ. 
just want to say to begin your Sonos adventure, to start your journey with Sonos, you can start it from less than $200 or £200 per room and get that voice activated, voice controlled speaker, place it wherever you want. You can upgrade the TV sound starting from a r under $400 for the Beam 400 UK pounds. You can go bigger with Play Bar and Play Bass and, and then the pricing steps up. But if you think about two Sonos ones, one in the kitchen, one in the bedroom or lounge, £400, pounds, $400 investment in two high quality speakers with voice assistance built in, it is the start of music in every room in your home going forward. Right. Absolutely, Gamble. And, you know, I just want to make sure that our audience is aware of the importance of needing to hire a smart home professional to come and help you deploy this system. Can you do it yourself? Yes. Is it a DIY product? Yeah. A lot of the, t a lot of the products, most of the Actually, most of the knolls that, that we're talking about are DIY solutions. It's about bringing together a complete ecosystem and buying right the first time and making intelligent decisions on what what to purchase. And, and a home technology professional can definitely help you with that, as well as customizing it into your home so that, it, one, it works efficiently, reliably, but looks posh, looks, you know, uh, bespoke, as, as y'all say. You know, and and is right fit and finish for that environment. I hate seeing wires. Gosh, I can't stand seeing wires. I it just kills me. And and home tech pros make it look sharp as well as make it function efficiently. You know, for your home and for your family. Cool. Have you got a cannon fire for us this week, JJ? Have you got something? Fires up, Mike. Yes, I do. Today's cannon fire is uh is you know i i get conversations i get calls from friends all over the all over the country all over the world and today i'm talking about nulls in a foreign land you know we we get listeners from all over the world and i had one of my buddies phone me up uh one of our listeners phoned me up and he's out of south africa and he was telling me about some of the pain that he is having because of pain that he's been having uh in the sense, the solutions that they are limited to and an offering over there is, is very limited in their scope. And uh, he uh, sees, he recognizes, you know, the impact that Knowles can have, you know, in his country, but limited access to uh, uh, through distribution or through products that are actually designed for different voltages or different frequencies you know, is challenging. It's very eye-opening to me because I, you know, I figure, hey, it's here in, in the States. It Why isn't it everywhere? That's, you know, my neat naiveness, you know, of of products globally, but but I'm being enlightened to. Uh, and, and what I shared with him is is finding products that that he does have access to that do work reliably with one another that that he can really focus on being educated on and and it's easy to to deploy try to use that less is more perspective when when engineering and, and considering uh solutions because just because we're nest uh uh, Eero, Ubiquity, Lo uh, Lutron, Logitech, and Sonos does not necessarily mean that's the only products that are out there that are right for the clients. That's not what this series has been about. It's been about the experience, the end result, the, the return on that investment that the clients have made, and they feel like, yes, I appreciate what, what, what technology I have. And, and I'm excited to, to expand upon those solutions that have been suggested, uh, <coughs> excuse me, suggested uh, to me by my home technology professional. And so, you know, he was, he was a little down on the front side of the conversation, but really excited on the back side because there were products out there that he could start thinking of in a different, you know, light that he could start to construct, you know, his own Knowles until maybe some of the products that we're discussing on a regular basis is is filtered into his uh, you know into his region and into his area so yeah that's what i got for the cannon fire today awesome awesome and you know 
just to repeat, and we'll talk about it next week when we do the kind of Nulls wrap-up show, it is about that finding the box that's available in your region. You know, if you can't access Lutron, Ratu Select Lighting, then for a long time, we used Philips Hue Lighting as our quick to install, reliable, um, easy to use lighting system. There may be something else in your region for heating and climate control. There may be another option for, for cameras and doorbells. I know a lot of guys that are in nulls, but they use ring. So it's, it's about finding the best box that you, that you want to give to your customers and support for your customers. Um, and if you feel it's given a great experience, stick with it, you know? And we've said it all along as well, that if a better box comes along, I will replace that current box with the better box if that's what the customers are, are demanding. Absolutely. Gamble, like always, it has been a fantastic show. I, I, I enjoy our Mondays getting on here and talking shop, so... Man, you have a great uh, you have a great week, and uh, you know we'll see you next week. Until next week, check out the podcast. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Check out our podcast, man. We got we got thousands of listeners there on that podcast. Anchor, iTunes, Spotify. Check it out, people. All right, Gamble. Take care, man. See you, mate. Man, that was good. I enjoyed that. Delivery driver. <laughs> Can't stop that, man. It wasn't even for me. <laughs> Every month, the Digital Ramble will receive a regular source of income from supporters who've pledged through Patreon. For as little as a dollar a month, having your ongoing support means we spend less time thinking about business and more time creating quality content for you. Customized, based in Norfolk, England, our proud sponsors of the Digital Ramble. Check out our all set up services. It's smart home installation with ease. Customize.uk.com. If you're looking to make your basic home smart, check out digitaldelight.com forward slash shop, where they have a variety of different smart home technology solutions that help make smart home shopping easy for you. Check out digitaldelight.com forward slash shop.